Kia ora e Tifano. Well, we are on Pukanui, Anchor Island here in Tamati, a dusky sound. In fact, we've just gone to one of the highest points on this island and come back down because the weather's kind of come in a little bit. But this is a predator-free island. No cats, rats, stoats, possums to interfere with the native biodiversity. Now just over there is our Arkonga crew with Jo Marsh from the Department of Conservation and she's going to talk a bit more about the special nature of this place and why being predator free is so valuable. Come with me. Back here down on the low part of um, Pukanui, Anchor Island, um, such a privilege to be here. You guys excited? Yeah. Um, Pukanui is a real gem in Dusky Sound. It's a biobank. Uh, it's a place where we've managed to get rid of those introduced predators, the stoats and the rats, and reintroduce some of those really endangered birds, like a safe haven, a sanctuary for them. And you will have noticed walking around here how lush this forest is and how many birds there are. And this is what it used to be like in New Zealand. So we're trying to recreate that right here on Pukanui. Anchor Island. We've seen so many seeds, different types of food. Without those predators, there's just so much more food for everyone to eat, um, all the birds, uh, the insects. You see how dense this bush is, if you were trying to like walk through that. Uh, without the deer, it just makes everything so lush, so what it used to be. And with this biobank now, it's really, really important for conservation in New Zealand because we're preserving um, these amazing endangered species here. Um, so that once we get the technology and stuff sorted, that we can make New Zealand Aotearoa predator free, we have, oh, there's a kaka, did you hear that too? Yeah, awesome. We can then transfer these birds back to the mainland, um, back to other islands that are going to act as sanctuaries for our native wildlife. So you may have noticed as we're walking that there's still some traps um, on this island. So even though it's a predator-free island, it's really important that we are keeping up this monitoring to make sure that if any stoat or rat was able to come to the island, that we, we know about it and we catch it before it's able to breed and reinfest this population. And that's why we also um, did that biosecurity before we came on Pukanui. Anchor Island because it's so easy to have a mouse or a rat or something in your bag and that would just be a disaster wouldn't it to think if you were responsible for bringing something like that onto this island because it would just have devastating impacts so really important part of coming to these special islands is that we um, we do our biosecurity checks before we come so well done team yeah it's so cool being here on Anchor Island because it's just so lush, the bush. Everywhere you look there's something new growing and it's like there'll be a tree stump and there'll be all sorts of different things thriving on there. I think it's really cool that we still protect it because we don't want all of our hard work just to go to waste and we just get so much out of this place. Even though it's one island, this could save bad being extinct. Being here on Anchor Island, Pukanui, I think my favourite part has just been walking around, just hearing the life around me. Uh, I'm hearing kaka and turkey, and these are really amazing birds that I don't really get at home. So being in this super special place where I can get all these new birds and new information, it's been really exciting.